<laughs> it was at this moment that he knew he fucked up. What is going on, my skiing friends and family? I am sitting here in my comfortable couch in my humble abode, and I'm gonna share with you guys the story of how I lost <gasps> and found yeah! my favorite head eye rally ski. It was a very emotional time for me losing a ski that I've had for eight years. And I think the only way to tell this story properly is through song. I never thought I'd do this on YouTube. A one, a two, a one, two, three. I close my eyes. Only for a moment now my ski is gone. Nope, stop that. We are not doing this. I'm gonna put some storytelling clothes on and tell you this story properly. Ah, uh, that's a bit better. Now I'm ready to tell a story. So it all started eight fortnights ago when I was filming the steepest runs on Black Home video. <sighs> We get to the top of Molly's Reach, everything's going as planned. So I'm at the top of what I believe is Molly's Reach, and I've got a friend to check it out for me, and he's gonna wave me in. I'm standing atop the corner, James waves me in, says, hey, safe, you're good to go, just make sure you head to the left. I get ready to drop in, and uh, I'll let you see how the rest plays out. <laughs> Well, that was, that was the worst case scenario. You okay? I'll be good to get down. <laughs> oh my God. You don't have a ski. You're not getting your ski back. No? No, I don't think so. Darn. I managed to flip my ski over and get myself back into the couloir, but my ski and pole weren't so lucky. As you can see in the video, my ski goes shooting off the right side of the cliff and gets lodged right into the side of the snow. Where? There's like that faint line that's horizontal across the run, like right at the top of the big cliff. Oh, that's my pole. Yeah. But I'm not offering, but it's no. there and it is gettable. <laughs> no. Ah, we confirmed that my ski was a goner. I'm gonna have to retire these skis. It's a sad, sad day. When I ski down from the top of Crystal there on Ridge Runner all the way to the bottom on one ski. This is gonna be fun. <laughs> you gotta switch, switch on your left one. Yeah, I don't wanna, I don't wanna get scooch leg. I'm getting tired. I haven't done this in a while. It's actually so, <laughs> so hard in the hips. Oh my God. It's the worst condition for it. Can we go through this please? Yeah, let's go to Arthur's choice. <laughs> Come alive. Buddy, are you crazy? I'm skiing the whole way down. Do I look like a downloader? No, you do. Uh. You know what? It popped off on top of a cliff. Oh God, no. No, it's gone. <laughs> but I'm okay, so it's all good, it's all good. He's in the final leg of the race. <laughs> Woo! Great success. <laughs> 
I got to the bottom. We both said our goodbyes to, to my other ski, never expecting to see it again. But what happens next will blow your mind. I get home, I tell my poor girlfriend the story. She wasn't very excited about my terrain choice that day. And after, I pop onto Facebook and I decide I'm gonna do some detective work. I go into a lost and found Whistler group and I post about, uh, about my ski being lost. And one guy responds right away and a couple trolls respond, that's pretty funny. But one guy responds and says, yeah, I'll take a look for it uh, the next day. So I go to thank him and when I press enter, uh, Facebook comes up with a note saying, uh, you have been removed and you cannot talk in this Facebook group because you have no profile picture. So I'm one of those weirdos who has no Facebook profile picture on my Facebook profile. So I get removed from the group. I just wanna hold you for forever. Lo and behold, a patroller saw that post and those guys are legends. Shout out to Black Home Patrol, you guys are amazing. And he went and rappelled down, grabbed my ski and my pole and they're meeting me down at the bottom around five when their work day is done to give me my pole back. I'm thrilled. I bought him two cases of uh, Kootenai, Kootenai Ale. It's hard for me not to drink it right now because I'm quite thirsty. But what I'm cooking up is a classic from the summer. You guys might not know this, but me and Laura lived in this truck for four months this summer and I filmed a lot of it from my channel. We were sleeping in this thing the entire time. Hopefully we can do it again this summer. I'm cooking whatever I had in the vehicle. Um, and what I have right now is the, the classic. If you guys have watched any of my old videos, which you probably haven't because no one was watching those, um, they weren't that great. But uh, I'd always eat sidekicks on hiking trips. Chicken is the mecca of flavors. You don't know if it's soup, you don't know if it's pasta, but it's sidekicks and it rocks. Bon appetit, sidekicks never let you down pumped to be getting my ski back and so grateful for the good work black home patrol does keeping us safe every day and also for doing kind favors for fellow skiers so it's huge cheers wow sidekicks check them out one dollar a package at walmart unbelievable blow your mind crazy will it give you diseases maybe but it's damn good just about to get my beloved ski back and i got the beers here for patrol 24 24 Kootenays. That that was apparently their uh, that was apparently their beer of choice. The Kootenay, the Kootenay beer, must be the beer of ski patrollers. Happy to gift them some beers. Wish I could gift them more, but uh, I don't make much money from YouTube. Yeah. <laughs> Lately I've been living like I can't take a loss. They ain't wanna help me. That's what made me a boss. Got my ski back, I'm so pumped. Big shout out to Michael from Black Home Patrol. He rappelled down the cliffs and grabbed the ski. He said it was in there so good that after this next storm, thing would have been a goner. I don't blame him. He also said, <laughs> your pole is probably worth more than your ski. And he's not wrong, but there's a lot of sentimental value within that ski and it still shreds and I still love it. And there you have it folks, that's how you make a very short story, extremely long-winded. I appreciate all of you who stuck around and if you enjoyed it, that's awesome. I was just having a little fun here. Promise I'll be back on the hill for the next video. Probably said it a hundred times already, but thank you, Michael, and thank you, Black Oak Ski Patrol. You guys rock. I'll see you guys next time on the hill. Probably won't ever film anything on this couch ever again. Lately I've been living like I can't take a loss. Me, that's what made me a